Hey there, welcome back. I'm so excited to talk with you about mastering the stress of the holiday season. You no longer have to be in reaction to all of the chaos that's going on seemingly outside of you with shopping and buying and reacting to family drama and closing out the end of your year and all the things that are going on in our world all those pressures you do not have to be in reaction to them and in this in this experience we're going to walk through an exercise that is really going to teach you how to shift out of this and into what you really want for this time of year peace and joy and love and just enjoying what's happening around you enjoying your family right so be sure to subscribe below be sure to visit this video again and again if you need help supporting you in this exercise where we're going to reach down and take uh, negative emotions that have gotten trapped inside of you because they have not been allowed in the past to fully cycle through the emotional process and when emotions get interrupted before they're fully felt before they're released they get trapped they get trapped inside of our subconscious and it makes it very difficult for us to get out get those emotions out right and it can lead to stress anxiety dis-ease in many different forms or fashion this has been a game changer in my life, in my clients' lives, and the people around me. And that's why I'm super excited to share this with you. So it's really, really simple. Not always easy. It's gonna take two things, really, maybe three. One is a belief in what we're doing and that you have the power over your body and over your beingness, right? To really release these trapped emotions. That's one is belief. The second thing is awareness, awareness and of what it is that we're doing here, what it is that's trapped inside of you. So we're gonna use the conscious mind to access what's going on in the subconscious mind in this exercise. So I'm just kind of queuing you up and sharing with you what's gonna happen next. The third thing that you need is intention, setting an intention to let go of this, all right? So it's very simple, like I said, not always easy, and that's why I'm gonna guide you through this process. So what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes, take a couple of deep breaths. I'm gonna close my eyes with you. And I want you to just begin by inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, just let it out in a sigh. <sighs> Inhale through your nose. Let out any thoughts of what you have to do today, later on, or anything else that's going on. Exhale it all out. Now on this third inhale, I want you to inhale very deeply. And I want you to imagine that you're inhaling the sunlight. Maybe you're standing on your favorite beach or your favorite mountaintop. Inhale the sunlight. Imagine that it's filling you up, filling up your heart. And then exhale and imagine that you are filling your whole body up with light. From the sun, universal light and energy. Good. Now here's what I want you to do is I want you to pop into your mind and I want you to bring to mind an event or an experience that's happened recently. Maybe something not too deep to start with, but something that's just happened that's maybe caused you some stress this holiday season or in the past. And, and just very briefly in your mind, just identify this event. We're not gonna go into it. We're not gonna explore it. We're not gonna talk about it. I want you to just take another deep breath and drop out of your head and into your body. I want you to just scan your body and notice when you bring to mind this event, what do you feel in your body? Just notice it. You might feel a tightness in your torso. You might feel, you know, a sickness in your stomach or you might feel heaviness in your heart. Just notice where it is in your body without, just like you're a witness, without labeling it or getting attached to it, okay? Now, we're gonna identify the first of five emotions that you are gonna to attach to this event and release. Typically, you generate about five emotions. So with your eyes closed and you're noticing this part in your body, and now you're gonna notice what, it, what the emotion is, the first emotion that's coming up for you. It might be fear, 
or it might be a cousin of your frustration or anxiety. It doesn't matter what emotion it is. I might call it one thing and you call it something else. It's okay. Just notice that emotion, watch it like you're a witness, okay? So now we've we've called this out of our subconscious. You've brought this into your body. You're noticing it, you're watching it. So you have awareness. Now you're gonna set an intention to release this emotion from your body. So you can just say in your, in your mind or even out loud, you know, I intend to release this emotion. I fully intend to release this emotion and just watch it, notice it. Maybe it starts to ease up. Maybe the intensity goes down. Just watch it for another moment. If you need to pause this video, that's okay, but we're gonna watch it completely dissipate. Let it float out of your toes. Maybe it, it turns into the ether and, and just floats away. Remember to keep breathing, keep your body open. Good. Now we're going to pop back up into your mind. You're going to remember this event, call it to your mind, and allow the next emotion that's attached to this event to come to your mind when you have it. You're going to drop back down into your body, drop back down into your heart. Feel your body. And now notice what the emotion is. Name it. That's it. It's just that simple. Remember, bring it to your awareness. And now set the intention to let it go. Just surrender it, release it, watch it go through the whole cycle. That can take anywhere from eight seconds or so to a minute or two. But most emotions release when we fully surrender and we set that intention, most emotions will release within about 30 seconds or so. Good. So now we're gonna pop back up into your mind. Remember the event. You may have a third emotion that comes to mind. You may not. If you don't, that's okay. You can move on to another event. If you've had another emotion pop up, drop back down into your body. Or like I said, if it was another event, you can attach that event or it could have even been a related event. Good. Take that emotion, drop back down into your body. See where you feel that emotion. You're doing great. Just watch it. Observe it. And maybe you just breathe it out this time. Just let it go. Good. Now we're going to pop back up into your mind. We're going to bring this event to our minds. Notice it. See if an emotion pops up here. If you need to drop back down into your body to feel that emotion, that's fine too. Either way works. What we want to make sure you're not doing is not attaching to it or starting to think about why is this? Where did this come from? Just get completely out of your head. Remember to just breathe into this, believe and surrender. Let this go. It might help to have a posture of, you know, open heartedness, shoulders back, hands out to your sides. If you're sitting at your desk, palms up on your lap, facing upward, open. Just watching the emotion. You're doing great. Now let it go. And one more time, we're gonna pop up, visit the event, drop back down. When you name the emotion, also set that intention. I'm surrendering this emotion. It might be, you know, I'm surrendering grief. I'm fully allowing myself to feel grief and just feel it. Just feel it all the way through. We're almost done. You're doing great. All right, now. Just take a deep breath, let that go, pop back up into your mind. And I want you to bring them to mind that event, that experience. And just notice, there may be some more emotions that come up and you may have stopped at three. What you'll start to notice is when you fully set the intention to completely surrender this, you may just have a few emotions pop up. And in order to get through this event and all cycle all the way through, the emotional process, right? Either way is fine. Whether you have 10 emotions related to the event or you have three, either way is fine. What you want to do is just check back in, make sure that you're complete. If there are more emotions to release, continue back into the process. If you feel clean about this event and it feels good, then you're going to want to check back in later and make sure that you are fully clean and open with this event and 
when you move on and you practice this process again, you can check in with another event and start releasing the next event. If this one feels like you still have a few more to let go of, that's completely fine. You can revisit it again. So this is your practice for this next couple of weeks. I'm really looking forward to hearing how this shifts you. This, this stress and anxiety and surrender process changes everything for you this holiday season. Good luck mastering it. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye.